Righto, we're coming down into the, uh, the set pattern where we sort of caught the first dog. Now I'm really hopeful, really hopeful that we'll start to pick something up here again. If the cattle haven't wrecked them all. It doesn't look like anything. Dang. And this is what we're facing. Cattle have wrecked that one. And cattle have wrecked that one. This one has remained in place. I don't see any fresh dog sign. Thanks girls, you're a big help. Thank you. And that's probably one of the inherent problems of trapping in this area here uh, in cattle country is that they just love dancing all over your traps. Um, they're curious, they're nice and fat, they're contented, they've got time to kill, so why not just go and check out what the nice smells are. Um, so yeah, we've got to look for areas where the cattle don't go as much, but the dogs go, and try and just be, be creative. Skunk doesn't look hopeful. Oh, no, we've got a dog. We've got a big dog. We've got a big dog. Just over the top of that bank. Chancy, what's that? Brandon. Let's get this dog shot. Brandon! No! Brandon, that's not nice. No. He's pulled the drag round about, you know, 45 degrees, I suppose, from where it was. He's only gone five metres. Um, looks like one of the very similar dogs to um, the other two. So I think it's the same pack that we're working on, which is good. Um, yeah. Three out of the one pack. Three for four nights now. We're getting somewhere. Chancy, on track. Get over here or you'll get bling, mate. Chancy, up, up. Up, up. Get on truck, on truck. On truck, quick, get on truck. That was a, uh, probably a classic situation out there where, you know, I'm saying, what do we do? How do we keep these traps in the ground? Because the cattle are wrecking them, but you have, you know, try different spots, and different techniques. Check them every day, make sure they haven't been disturbed. And then, uh, yep, next trap set past the ones that were wrecked by the cattle. The next trap set, we've got a dog. So, your traps are all working as part of a team. It's a team effort. Boy, you're so keen. What is it? Is it because you want to go for a bogey? Or you go for a swim? Is that what it is? That's a classic situation there where the guard put up around that trap has actually worked. All those cattle just walk past it. Boy, have a bogey, have a bogey, have a swim, bogey, bogey, have a swim, have a bogey. Right, it's hot. Time for me to pull up for a second and just reflect, grab a drink of water. No, don't go chasing cattle, Brandon. You got a psychotic stare on you there, son. You really should be wearing aviators. You never know when there could be been a little bandicoot or a kangaroo rabbit a suitor or a lizard or a bird or any one of the numbers of little critters that get around here at night or a pig or a trap scratch and dingo or a cow all these things could have affected your trap and you don't want to leave it there for a few days so a dog goes past it looks at it a few times and really gets it in their head what's going on we got a murder 
of crows. None of you guys been murdered? We're just coming in here now to the uh, dead carcass. And guess what? Trap scratch it by the back leg. Yep. One sort of munged up ear on him for some reason. basic set we just had it beside the tree I think that was a bit of urine on that same age yeah, he's not a real old dog one foot cat flatten that foot down a little bit but there's no damage no swelling no damage no skin broken perfect I had a funny ear. That might have been just tipped backwards. Probably just had a tip backwards. Like that. Hello. Healthy dog. I'll check the other trap while I'm here. Birds have been over here. They've dusted off the side of the pan. What I'll do is I'll try and heap that up again. It's going to be the trouble with birds here. Keep it up there. Okay. No sign that anything has touched this really. Let's go up to the trough here now and just make sure everybody is nice and happy, healthy. Water in the trough. Yeah. You've got a crook eye, have you? That little calf's got like a pink eye, like a blight in both eyes, and he'd be easy picking for a, uh, a dog. So I'll get the landowner to come up here, we'll grab it and put a bit of treatment in and see if they can save one of the eyes at least, otherwise it's a goner. Skunk? It wasn't called for. Up up, skunk, up up. He'll jump up here and get over the front. Hey, you're soaking wet, dude. This is the prettiest coloured beauty I have seen. I don't think I've seen a prettier one. Go past him and then walk just back past, nice and casual, like a cow. Like a cow. And grab him. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. What you been doing? Oh, you'd bite toward you. You'd bite. You gonna bite me? You gonna bite me? Hey. Put you in front of the grid sign. How you doing? Look at you. You've been living up an old rusty pipe or something, have you? You puff up. Oh, you're puffing up. See that puffing up. Good, you're blowing up like a balloon. Can't be too hard on ourselves, dogs. It's it's such a terrific season. Everything is spread out, and uh, yeah, to still be averaging a dog a day or a bit better is uh, still okay. That's 19 dogs in 17 nights, and we reset all the traps on another property in between all that. 
So, uh, yeah, I think we've done all right. This is our last set of traps here. I'm actually not really hopeful that we'd be very lucky if we get a dog here. Nothing on that one. And nothing on that one. No tracks on across our vehicle marks. A branch has fallen down. And this is what I say to people about checking your traps every day. Okay, here's a branch falling off this gum tree up here. And it's fallen down straight across the trap. Now that won't catch anything. If I pick that up and put it here, probably stick its end in the ground so it won't go anywhere. And probably freshen these traps up. And that's got a good chance of catching something, but that's exactly what I'm talking about. If we weren't checking these traps every day, well, there, that one there would be um, out of action. And probably today, with the ones that have been messed up by birds and cattle and whatever, we, we would have had half of our traps out of commission uh, today. Um, and we still, still caught two dogs. Well, walking back to the buggy now. As I've said a number of times on these clips, I think it's just too much feed, too much water. Season's too good. They're very scattered. When it dries up, they'll be back. Good dogs. Good dogs.